Red alert, red alert. Uh, we've got a bad situation in Ohio if you are a progressive and if you're a Democrat. Now, I know often those things could be two different uh, forces, uh, and they certainly were in the, during the primaries. Uh, but here, the Democratic Party, I think, uh, might be dragging down progressives with them. Why? Because uh, they are apparently about to lose a state they have no business losing. Uh, now, first, I'm talking about the Senate run, but then, of course, it's going to affect the national presidential race as well. So today in the Hill, they report that the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee canceled a week of TV ads scheduled to begin airing in mid-September in the critical Ohio Senate race. And the original reporting on that was done in the Washington Post. So that's really bad news for Ted Strickland, who is a Democrat running for that Senate seat. Now, the rest of the story talks about, oh, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, that they are giving up on Strickland's race. That's what they always say. No, no, that's bad news. When they say, uh, we're pulling ads from you, it usually means that's because we find you generally hopeless. And I was very surprised by that because I hadn't looked at the Ohio polls in a long time. Ted Strickland is a former governor of Ohio, perfectly legitimate uh, political candidate in the Senate. I mean, well-known figure in Ohio, in a, in a Senate race, I should say. And then, you know, Rob Portman is a relatively new uh, senator from Ohio. It's not like he can't be beat. He definitely can be beat. He had to be uh, among the top targets for the Democrats to beat. Uh, and Ohio's a swing state can easily be won. So I was like, hmm, what's the polling in this race? Well, Senator Rob Portman has consistently led, apparently, former Ohio Governor Ted Strickland in the polls since mid-July. And a new Emerson College poll released Monday found Portman with his largest margin yet ahead by 15 points. What are the Democrats doing losing an Ohio Senate race by 15 points? Obama won Ohio both times. What are they doing losing that race by 15 points? It's not like, oh, well, we couldn't uh, find a candidate that doesn't have name recognition. We couldn't find this. We couldn't find that. We don't have enough money. Yes, Portman is significantly uh, outraising and outspending Strickland and to the point where apparently the Democrats have given up on it. Uh, but Ohio is winnable. Why? God, they are such... Pounds. Getting your ass handed to you in Ohio in a Senate race, you have no business losing. Okay, so then I start to wonder, uh-oh, what does this mean for the national race? Well, let me give you the last three polls in Ohio. Uh, around uh, August 17th and 19th, CBS News, YouGov did a poll, and Hillary Clinton was up by six points. Now, that was the biggest margin she ever had. She was losing in Ohio before, earlier in the summer. And we thought, okay, yeah, there you go, finally pulling away in Ohio. By God, it's about time. And Trump is such a maniac. You know, how are you not pulling away from him quicker? To give you a sense of uh, context, with six weeks left to go before they'd done even any of the debates uh, last year, time around in 2012, President Obama had a 10 point lead on Mitt Romney and beat him easy in Ohio. So Hillary Clinton should, I think, have a very large lead against uh, the clown that she's running at. Okay, fine, finally a six-point lead. But then wait a minute, here's another poll, Monmouth University poll, a couple of days later, uh, so that's August 18th to 21st, 43-39 Hillary Clinton. Mm, that's only a four-point lead. Now that's way too close for comfort. Oh no, here comes an Everson College poll just on August 25th to 27th. 43 to 43, we are tied, folks. Red alert, red alert. Now, it's possible that the Emerson College poll is an outlier. That's why uh, Portman's up by 15 in that same poll and Hillary Clinton's tied with Donald Trump. It's also possible that Hillary Clinton is a disastrously bad candidate. And she is sitting there either tied or very close to Donald Trump in the critical state of Ohio. Ohio decides election. She can't pull away from Donald Trump in Ohio. God, I wanted to call this race. I mean, he is such a preposterous human being, Donald Trump. I wanted to be done with the loser Donald segments and just go and go on to other things in our lives. But it appears that he is gaining ground and the Republicans are gaining ground in states like Ohio. Democrats, what the hell are you doing? God, what a what an unbelievably incompetent political party.
Run populist, you idiots. Run progressive. You know who the other senator in Ohio is? Sherrod Brown. Arguably the second most progressive person in the Senate after Bernie Sanders. And he won. He won fairly comfortably. Oh, if you run progressives, you win. Oh, no, Ohio is a swing state, so we should run more towards the Republicans. No, run away from them. Because you say the Republicans are the establishment, and we are the progressives who are looking to overturn that. Instead, these knucklehead Democrats go, we are the establishment, and the Republicans are the change. Portman's already in the Senate. You know how easy it is to paint him as a Washington uh, establishment figure? And here you are, you took the wrong mantle, and you're getting your ass handed to you. Run progressives. In this state, the second most progressive senator won easily. How stupid are you as a party? No, no, the right idea is we run uh, center right, and we say Republicans are generally right on all their ideas, but just, you know, they go a little too far. So progressives, no, no, we, we don't stand up for our own ideas. We say we're uh, Republicans. We're like them, but not quite as much. Yeah, no wonder you're losing by 15 points. Genius move. I don't know if you got the memo yet, and apparently you haven't. People in America now hate the establishment. It's not like, oh, the establishment, I have mixed feelings about it. They hate them. But you people in Washington running the Democratic Party, you are the establishment, so you cannot get it through your thick skulls. They're like, oh, I got a great idea. <laughs> let's let's run the most establishment candidate we've had in, in our lifetimes, Hillary Clinton, and then we'll, uh, you know, support her with a bunch of establishment uh, Senate candidates, and then get our ass handed to us by a bunch of clowns. Run for change. Run for change, not for establishment. Run as progressives. Run as populists. You're going to get killed everywhere in a year where you can easily win. They only have to defend 10 Senate seats. The Republicans have to defend 24. You should pick up a ton of Senate seats. But if you're getting killed this badly in Ohio, oh my God, I fear for the rest of the country. I don't know what to do with the Democratic Party. Unfortunately, as things stand right now, we can't win without them, and we can't win with them. What do you do with a problem like Democrats. God damn it. And by the way, it's not just that they're stupid, which yes they are. It's that they take the same corporate money. They take the same donor money. Today, they proudly declared that one of the top Republican fundraisers, Meg Whitman, has switched over and is now raising money from her rich friends for Hillary Clinton. If that happens, shh. I'm not on your side. I'm a progressive. So I'm not on the side of the Democratic Party. So here, I'll help you out. If you're going to be dumbass establishment guys who don't understand the country at all, at least have the this much sense to not brag about it. So you're both wrong because you're so knee deep in corruption, all you can see is donor money, and stupid because you not you don't realize you're not supposed to brag about it. You're supposed to pretend that you're on the side of the people. But the Democratic Party completely forgot that. So the Senate seat in Ohio is apparently gone, and apparently Hillary Clinton, it, and this is her pinnacle. Donald Punch has Donald Punch, Donald Trump has punched himself in the face about 28 times since the Democratic Convention was over. They had the Democratic Convention. Then Trump kicked his own ass for weeks and weeks and weeks. She's at her pinnacle, and she's tied in Ohio. Good luck, man. Good luck. You hand the country over to this clown. Don't you dare blame progressives. It is 100% your fault, idiot establishment Democrats.